Happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm here with a total body strength and cardio workout for you. I have my lovely assistant and roommate here with me. She is going to be doing the warm up, and I will demo all the exercises in the workout for you. So follow along with her, but make sure you watch me for the demos. So, first off, I'm going to start by explaining what the workout is. There's going to be three stations. In each station, there is four exercises, and you're going to do three rounds of each station. And at the end of each station, so after the three rounds in each station, you're going to do a one minute finisher after every single station. This is a follow along video, so you can be working out with us the whole entire time as we do this workout with you. All you need is two soup cans, or as you'll see, I brought Alfredo sauce cans into it, and a mat. So the first station is squat to lunge, beast hold, skaters, and heel touches. Here is the squat to lunge. You wanna make sure you stay down in the squat and your weight is back in your heels and you are just lunging down, okay? Stay in the squat, that is where you get the burn from. The next exercise is called a beast hold. This is a quad burner, so you wanna have a flat back tabletop position and you are just lifting your knees off of the ground so you can slide a magazine under. Remember to tuck your belly button in and you're just holding it for the 30 seconds. Next, we're moving into the skaters. You are really thinking about your lateral movement, so the side to side movement, you want it to be explosive, and you're just touching opposite hand to opposite feet. The variation you could do is just stepping as shown. The last exercise in this station is heel touches, so you can modify this however you want. The closer together you put your heels to your bum, the easier it's going to be. The farther away, the harder it's going to be because you have to reach farther. Station two is inchworms, Russian twists, touchdowns, and butterfly crunch. So starting with your inchworms, you reach all the way up, reaching down to your toes, and then you go into a high plank position. You can add that push up in if you'd like from your feet or from your knees, and then you bring your hands back up to your toes. Okay, so you are just going back and forth through that exercise. Another option is good mornings, so just bending at the hips, pushing your bum back and feeling it in your hamstrings. The second exercise is Russian twists. Okay, so you're going to get down, chest nice and tall, nice and proud, and you are just pushing your hands from side to side over your torso. Okay, if you need to, you can put your feet on the ground for more stability. This is going to make it a little bit easier for you. The next exercise is called touchdowns. Okay, there's two variations, a step variation and the jump variation. First is the jump variation, just opposite hand to opposite foot, switching out those legs as fast as you can. You should feel this in your hips. And this is the step variation as well. Just taking it a little bit slower if needed. The last exercise in this station is a butterfly crunch. So down on your back, you're lifting one leg up at a time and clapping underneath those legs. Make sure your hands get nice and wide, just like a butterfly spreading its wings. If that is too hard for you right now, you can just simply do a one knee up from the ground, put your hands nice and high, give yourself a target to reach. Okay, our third and final station is wall sit with added punches high burpee tree pose and squat hold cha-chas so first up is your wall sit you can use the couch or your wall and you are just sitting in your squat hold against the wall adding in those punches remember to keep your heels um, engage your weight in your heels and you are keeping your knees over your toes not letting them sink in Next is your high burpee. So this is a little bit different. You're staying up in a high plank position instead of dropping to the ground and you are focusing on the jump 
instead. So you're trying to jump as high as you can, testing your vertical a little bit with this exercise. Of course, you can use a step out burpee if you need to, or you can modify it and, you, and go and put your hands against the couch in order to stabilize instead of going all the way down to the ground. Next is a little bit of a recovery pose. You're going to do a tree pose. You can modify this however you'd like, hands above head, hands out to the side. You can move your foot down your leg and that'll make it a little bit easier to hold your balance as well. And your final exercise is a squat hold cha-cha. So instead of adding that lunge like we did in the first round, all you are doing is just slightly tapping your foot behind you, but holding that squat the whole entire time. This is where your weights come in. As you see, I have my Alfredo sauce cans. You're going to get up in a high plank position, or you can do this from your knees, and you are just rowing your weights up to your side. Okay, it's important to keep your elbow tucked to your body, and you are rowing them up and squeezing your back the whole time. If you need a little bit more stability, make sure you put your feet a little bit wider. You do not want your hips swaying um, from side to side, so you should stay even with the ground. Okay everyone, I hope you work just as hard as we do during this workout video. Follow along with us, modify as you need. We're going to get started with our first station, squat to lunge, beast hold, skaters, and heel touches. Working for 30 seconds on and 30 seconds of rest after each exercise. Here we go, three, two, one. All right, make sure you're staying nice and low in that squat and you are lunging touching that back knee to the ground or getting it as close as possible do not come up out of that squat you want to feel that burn in your glutes all right almost finished here three two one now getting down into your beast hold. Remember, you need to tuck your belly button in, have a flat back, look forward, not right through to your knees, and you should only be able to slide a magazine under those knees, not a whole textbook. If you need to, drop down for a minute, but make sure you get right back up to finish this beast hold with us. And three, two, one, you're done. Up. Now you're into your skaters, so make sure you're focusing on that lateral movement. Try and keep that chest nice and high. You don't have to reach for the toes if you don't want to. However, it's just a good goal to be able to, to get to that point. Okay, so making sure that you're staying nice and tall um, and keeping a bend in your right or your front leg. Three, two, one. You are finished with your skaters. You are now moving into your heel touches. Remember, you can modify this how you need to. You can put your heels closer together, farther apart. You just need to feel your obliques, which are your side abdominal muscles, working throughout this exercise. Don't forget to breathe. Do not hold your breath during this exercise or any of your exercises. Three, two, one, you are done with your first round of station one. Good work, you should be feeling a little bit of sweat coming on, maybe your body's starting to warm up. Take a couple seconds here, get some water. This is your rest time for 30 seconds. Starting back at the top with your squat to lunge, Three, two, one. Okay, this one is going to be a little bit harder, a little bit tougher to get through as you feel your glutes and your quads burning. Make sure that you keep breathing through this exercise and follow along with one of us to try and keep pace. This is where you start to try and push yourself Almost there, keep breathing through it. Three, two, one. Now you're getting right down into your beast hold for your second beast hold. Make sure you will feel your quads burning now. Keep your 
back flat and your belly button tucked in. Just try and hold that position, breathing nice and deep so that you can get that heart rate down from doing your squat to holds. Almost there, keep working through it. Keep holding with us here at home and you're finished. Up for your skaters, focusing on that lateral movement again, moving side to side, focusing on that hop, keeping that chest nice and high. You can go as fast as you want, pick up the pace if you'd like, or you can take it into a step skater if you need to. All right, three, two, one. You are finished with skaters right now, moving into your last exercise of round two. Back to your heel touches, keeping that breathing steady and making sure that you are keeping that chest proud as well, not slouching over. All right, keep working with us. Almost there. Three, two, one. Good work. We are done round two now. Moving into our last round of this station. I know that this station is hard. Try and breathe and get that heart rate down before we get into our last round. Grab a drink of water if needed. It's important not to chug your water while you're working out. Just try and take small sips. You don't want to feel nauseous during your workout. All right, Rebecca is going to start us off with our first exercise in round three our last round the last time you have to do these exercises so make them worth it here we go with your squat to lunge you should feel a burn in this one now in your glutes and in your thighs making sure that you keep your heels engaged weight in your heels when you're stepping back you got it, get all those reps in. Three, two, one, you're done with that exercise. Moving on to your beast hold. Last time you have to do this beast, make sure that you are breathing through, keeping that belly button tucked in and trying to just stay still as long as you can. Don't give up, try and hold it as long as you can with us. Almost there, you can do it. Just a couple more seconds. You can do anything for this amount of time. Three, two, one, you're done. Getting up for your last round of skaters, working on that lateral hop. I know those quads and those glutes are burning after those first two exercises. If you need to, take it to a step skater. But stay focused, keep working. Your goal is to work for that 30 seconds of each exercise without stopping. You got it. Almost through it. Make sure that you are keeping that chest nice and high, breathing through this last one of skaters. Three, two, one. Into your last exercise of station one. Going into those heel touches for the last time. Keep breathing, you got it, last exercise. Remember that we have our one minute finisher after our rest to end our station and then you will get another break, I promise. All right, you're in your 30 second break but you're getting set up for that one minute finisher. Make sure that with your finisher, you're keeping those hips as level as possible and you're rowing as close to your sides as possible as well. You can modify this doing it from your toes or from your knees. And here we go, our one minute finisher is started right now. As you can see, trying to keep your hips as square as possible, remembering to breathe through. This is a long time to do a renegade row, so you can drop down to your knees and then go back up do whatever you need to do to challenge yourself. Remember that this is about you and keeping up with that healthy lifestyle and pushing your own physical fitness levels.
keep working keep pushing through this keep breathing you're almost at the end of this first finisher and three two one you are done resting before we go into the second station good work everyone All right, hopefully you've had some time to recover, wipe that sweat off your face like I did. We are going into station two, starting with our inchworms. Three, two, one. Remember that you can add that push-up if you'd like at the bottom. You can do it modified or you can do it from your toes. You do not have to add that push-up. Make sure you're breathing through this one. This is a good recovery exercise working on the whole body. three two one you are finished with your inchworms we are moving into Russian twist here you're going to go side to side remember you can modify and put your feet on the ground if needed keep that chest nice and proud try and look somewhere up on the wall or in front of you and not down when you are doing this and make sure to breathe through this exercise touchdowns this is exercise three out of four in your first round okay so going as quick as you can just switching those feet out touching opposite hand opposite foot remember if you need to you can totally do this step touchdowns three two one you're Finish with your touchdown, going into your butterfly crunches, laying flat on your back, arms out to the side, and you're lifting up and clapping under each leg, okay? So one leg at a time, clapping under that leg. Keep that chest nice and proud. Try not to round your back out and make sure you're breathing. Almost there, I know you're feeling it in your abs. This one is an ab burner. You are done with your first round of station two. Good work, you now know what to expect. You set expectations for yourself and for your body, and now you need to make sure that you stay consistent. We are back at the top now with your inchworms in three, two, one. Stay engaged with this exercise. Remember to do that push up only if you're feeling comfortable with it. Breathe nice and easy through this exercise. You just had some recovery time. You guys got this. This is your second round of station two already. All right, three, two, one. You are finished with your inchworms, moving into your Russian twist. This is your first abdominal exercise. I know those abs are burning right now. Keep that chest nice and proud. It's very important to try and keep that good technique throughout ab exercises to protect that lower back. So make sure you're breathing. Make sure you are keeping your chest nice and proud. Almost done here, three, two one you are finished with those Russian twists moving into your touchdowns keeping your core engaged chest nice and tall here looking forward instead of down if you can I know it's super hard you can see that we are working really hard in this video trying to go as hard as we can for our own fitness and you should be trying to do the same at home Keep pushing through here, 
three, two, one. You are done into your butterfly crunches. After this exercise, you only have one more round of station two to go. And then we are on to our final round of our workout today. Good work. that rest here work all the way to the end you are almost finished three two one you are resting All right, this is where it starts to get tough. I know that it's hard to work through this. You are on your last round of this station. You don't have to do these exercises again. Make them count. Here we go with your inchworms. Take time to breathe through this exercise. Stretch through this exercise. Add that spice at the bottom if you want to, a modified push-up or a full push-up, and bring yourself back up. You are almost done. Three, two, one. You are finished. You do not have to do those inchworms again. You are down on the ground for your Russian twists here. Last time you have to do this one as well. Keeping that chest nice and proud, breathing through it. You got it, I know those abs are burning and I know that you are working hard at home. Three, two, one. You are finished with those Russian twists, getting ready for your touchdowns. You're already halfway through this last round of station two. You got it working hard making sure that you are pushing your own limits. All right guys, I know you're tired, keep pushing through. This is where we really make a difference in our fitness when we're tired and we have to keep going. You're into your last exercise now of round two and then you get that rest. Make this last exercise count. Push all the way to the end, you got it. Three, two, one, you are resting. There was a lot of smiles at the beginning of this video, but there's not many anymore. This is a hard workout. Take time here to breathe and get set up for that finisher as we move into our third station after this. Just one minute of a renegade row for you. Three, two, one. Remember to modify this as your body needs. If you're feeling that twist in that high plank, you can move it down to your knees and do a modified high plank or you can drop the weights and just use your hands and roll your hands up and down, up and down. I know this minute is a long time. You are almost there. Keep pushing through it. Keep breathing. You got this. Do not stop. Go all the way to the end. Try and work for that last couple seconds. Three, two, one. You are done. We are now resting before we move on to our third and final station.
By this time, I was wishing that I was KO'd in the corner like my dog is there. I was feeling it already. This is a really good full body workout that includes a lot of elements of full body exercises and some cardio, some legs, some abs, some shoulders. Getting ready for your third and final station here. You're starting off with your squat hold or your wall sit and adding those punches in. Here we go. So remember to keep your weight in your heels. You're adding those punches in, moving side to side. It's just added to really keep yourself distracted from how sore your quads are. You can choose to go as fast as you can with your punches or you can drop the punches and not do them at all if you're feeling like just resting during this exercise. Moving right into that high burpee. Remember your focus here is not going all the way to the ground. You're staying up in that high plank position. The focus is on a big jump at the top, working on that vertical. You can modify this however you'd like, using a step out instead of the hop back, or you can go against the couch and put your hands on the couch instead for a modified position burpee. Moving right into that tree pose. This is a recovery exercise. Take some time here to breathe. Find your balance if you need to. Find a spot on the floor or on the wall in front of you to focus on before you start lifting your hands overhead. Having your hands over your head is going to be a little bit tougher for your balance rather than having them out to the side. Remember you can start with your foot near your other foot to begin and move it up slowly as you find your balance. Two, one, you are done with that exercise. Moving on to that squat hold cha-cha, your last exercise in this station. Remember that you are trying to stay as low as possible. Keep all that weight in your heels so that you're feeling it in your glutes when you use that step back. Try and keep your chest nice and high. I know in this video I'm not doing a very good job of it, but make sure at home you are trying to look forward instead of down. Two, one, you are finished with that exercise. Good job, everyone. We are already finished. One round of station three. You only have two more rounds to go, then you'll get a nice break, your renegade row for a minute, and then you are done your workout for the day. A nice, quick, spicy workout to get those glutes firing, those hamstrings and those quads firing, the abs, the shoulders. This is a really good all body workout. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. You're back in your wall sit here, adding those punches in if you feel like you can. Make sure that you keep your knees straight over your toes and they are not kind of sagging into the middle of your body. Three, two, one. You are now finished with your wall sit, moving into those high burpees. I know it's getting super tough to stay with us here. I know you are working hard. I know you are feeling it. Just keep pushing through. Tell yourself that you can do anything. We're almost through this workout together. Make sure that you don't give up on yourself now. Try and get one or two more burpees in. You got it. Three, two, one. You are done with that one. Going into your recovery exercise here, switching legs. So whatever leg you used on the first round, you are switching to the opposite leg now. Take some time to breathe deeply here. I know that you have been working hard. Taking some time to recover here. We're moving into our final exercise. Three, two, one. Those squat hold cha-chas. Making sure we stay nice and low to the ground and that we are working those glutes, feeling that burn in them, feeling that burn in those quads, breathing through this exercise. A couple more per side here. You're almost through, three, two, 
one you are resting you are going into your third and final round of your last station you are almost through the workout this is where it starts to get really tough this is where you really got to push yourself tell yourself that you can do anything All right, everyone, last round, best round. You're starting off with that wall sit with those added punches. You can picture whoever you want in front of those punches. You can picture me if you want for making you do this workout today, not knowing what you expected and making sure that you got nice and sweaty today. Keep working through this. You're almost through the last time that you have to do this exercise. You are done with it after this. Three two one and you are done last round of those dreaded burpees make sure you make it count here you are giving it your all trying to get through as many burpees as possible trying to keep that nice high hop as much as you can I know those legs are burning One or two more, you got it. Three, two, one. Moving into that nice recovery tree pose. This one we are gonna break up halfway through. So start with the first leg that you used in round one, and halfway through we will switch to the other leg. That is the halfway point, switching to that other leg, getting set up there. Three, two, one. Okay guys, finishing off with your last exercise in your workout. All you have is that finisher. Make sure you go hard for this exercise. Breathe through it, feel those glutes. Try and keep that pace going. Keep working with us here. Almost there. Three, two, one, and you are finished finished with your workout today all you have left is that one minute finisher there's no other surprises after it take some time grab some water stretch out if you need to before we get into that renegade row Alright guys, going into that last minute of the renegade row, make sure that your glutes are nice and engaged, your belly button's tucked in, you should have a flat back, you're not swaying those hips from side to side, keep a wide stance if you need to in that plank to keep those hips from swaying, drop down to your knees if you need to, you got it, I know a minute is a long time but there's no other surprises after this, you are done your workout after this, all you have to do is push through this last minute. You're about halfway through this one. You can do anything for 30 seconds. That is half the time that you had to start with with this exercise. You got it. Keep breathing through. I know that this is getting tough. Almost there, everyone. Last couple of reps. That's all you have to do. Push yourself to get all the way to the end with this exercise. Three two one good work everyone as you can see we are wiping that sweat off of our foreheads we worked hard here and i really hope that you did too i hope you enjoyed our follow along workout with you this is a little bit different than what i posted before for you guys so make sure that you um, are taking some time to stretch out afterwards and recover from that workout You can follow along with us here as we go through a couple of stretches. Remember that you can do your own stretches at home based on how sore you are in certain areas of your own body. And if you wanna continue stretching afterwards, you can do that as well. Just wanted to let you know that this workout is inspired by a Fit Body Boot Camp workout. So we had done this workout 
um, with them on their YouTube page and then we recorded it for you guys as well and I just wanted you to be able to see um, some familiar faces as you went through your follow along video workout. You can check them out on YouTube for a lot more workout videos like this one. They also have a variety of different workouts and, and types of workouts for you to try. I really like their videos because they're short, but they make you work extremely hard for that whole entire 30 minutes or so. As we finish up here, make sure you take a sweaty selfie or a video of yourself doing this workout and add it to your PE log for your assignments this week. Um, I want to know if you like this video as well so I can add more videos like this. So if you have any suggestions, please drop them in the suggestion area of your 50 Fitness or your PE log assignment. I hope you enjoyed this workout. That's all we have for you. Goodbye, everyone.